Hi, boys and girls. Doing all again. Welcome back to my show. And this is your old pal, Uncle Fatbo. And today, our show is brought to you by the number two. I could live this our, life with we you over, the number two. And over again. Yeah, too fucking bad. You're in it anyway. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't get the shit you want. So, exactly that's that. Before. And today's letter Never is going to be Y for well, your mama. Not once. I can't say mama jokes. People say it comes out of your nowhere. Yeah. Your mama's like a door not your biggest turn. find them when you're not looking. Nope. Your they always laugh. Mama's like school on Sunday, no class. At the idea that it would uh, Let's see. Your mama People is so fat that I had to roll her in dough and go for the wet spot to have sex with her. Maybe this is just the beginning. Yeah, so there will be no mama jokes today. I am sorry. However, I have a really, really great machine. It's called the Don't Give a Fuck Meter. And it shows me who just don't give a fuck. And today, I see Canerdo, who's going to be 58 years old tomorrow. Simplify, Canerdo, simplify. So if y'all find him, his name's Canerdo. Uh, let him have, you know, tell him happy, happy birthday. Um, just Laura from Ohio. Hi, Just Laura. Hi, how you doing? Um, let's see. Blue, Blue from Canada. Oh, Canada. Um, let's see, who else? Allie Oop. Oh, hi, Allie. How you doing? Uh, yep, and if I didn't say any, well, we're going to do more episodes, so we'll do more. Um, we're going to get to the stuff you really like, though. Letters. First letter. Dear Uncle Fafo, shouldn't someone talk to Timmy about eating poop? Why do you should say that? So, Mrs. Kateris, my neighbor, decided she was going to go talk to Timmy. And I was recording the other day, and I caught some of it. So, you want to hear what happened? So, I did get notice that Mrs. Gutierrez will recover, and her and Timmy have come to an, a, a, an agreement on this situation. Timmy will continue to eat poop, and Mrs. Gutierrez will mind her own fucking business. And maybe y'all should too. Mind your own fucking business. Next letter. All right. Dear Uncle Fafo, you are making fun of my generation for the things we have done, but we just accomplished a major achievement. Okay, what is it? So... We are no longer going to have diet listed on products and call someone on a diet. It is going to be called a zero. Is that true? All the fucked up shit in the world is going on and your biggest issue is having something fucking labeled diet? What the ever-living fuck is wrong with you people? Seriously. There's so much shit going on in the world. There's poverty, homelessness. Everybody's homeless and, and, and poverty, uh, in poverty and not having a place to live. Don't worry. This generation just saved you all by getting diet removed from fucking products. What the fuck is wrong with you people? And then what, what, so now when someone says, I'm going to jump on a zero, what the fuck is that? They're like, it sounds like he's having, they're, they're having sex with a freaking, a loser. I mean, uh, honey, the other day when you said what you said, you meant going on a diet, right? Wait a minute, we're talking about that shit. All right. That's dumb. That's fucking stupid. All right. Next letter. Uncle Fafo, me and my friends watched your show. So, uh, we think you suck. You are terrible. Uh, you should probably not do this anymore. And, well, we can only emphasize the fact that you suck. Oh, oh okay. Well, uh, I know someone else that sucks. And uh, it's your mama. And you do too. So, fuck you. 